Sexy Happily and Family Fun Gardening. Hi everyone. This is the real life what's happening in my garden, what's working, what's not working. This is not working on my face. <laughs> Beautiful day out at Donna. Yes, in 70 degree weather, it is normally still shorts weather. I'm allergic to cold weather. And then, you know, 70 degrees can 50, it starts off 50 degrees and things change as the day go on. So here we go, you all. If you watch my live, sorry about it being blurred. But this will be the video showing what I was talking about. So enjoy. I started a new garden bed, which is working but not working. <laughs> Ooh, you haul You don't miss those days. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let it fall. So how they gonna empty that? For real? Yeah. Gravity. You're right. I guess the heel is gonna help it out. We ain't working too hard, dude, bro. We ain't working too hard, dude. Here we go. Free. 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 I have some gates that is not working you all are going to be full of plenty of labs we called ourselves digging this in the ground but as you see on this hill we're going to have to use some concrete and then we didn't even go deep enough so make sure when you plant these you're digging deep enough oh, I added this middle gate I have no idea I have two more gates if I will connect them and then add the because that's the swing gate open wide I have to get educated on this because I think that would be have to be that end if I connect them and add that to a post which then connects the gates but that's what's temporarily working what's not working I am trying to kill these weeds so I have some plastic down here to show you all I left this so you can see I don't have anything growing under here maybe some roots but the water water does not pass through plastic you all so the water would drain underneath there but I'm trying to kill this for my little walkway so I can figure out what I'm going to put here I pop these in the ground I don't even know if I'm going to leave these there you all I want to plant next year look at that sunlight my vegetable garden is going there that is what's working it's working for me behind the scenes breaking down I did put my little boxwoods here because I was afraid to come over here that's my burn pal that is working for me <laughs> but I'm scared you all I'll be scared to walk over here so I got to make this pretty and maintain this area I started a new garden bed over here which is really not a start I just placed things in the middle hydrangea hydrangea oh I wanted to show you all how I don't have any spots so that's what a hydrangea would look like when it's not infected by any of the previous years or current lid Ye I mean current year diseases so this is a green tower I believe yeah green tower boxwood that's going to get tall get me some height that's a gardenia unknown name so I will find out what that name is it's like two hydrangeas there 
All right, so I'm going to create a path. What's working? What's not working? These are thirsty. I'm. They, they have been transplanted for those who haven't been following, and I'm continuing to water them. But who knows if they're going to make it? The other ones, I have some that transplanted that are doing well. Oh, let's look at this. What's well, not working? <laughs> Taking out time to put these in the ground. I want them to grow on the other side of that deck back there, you all. On the other side of that pool. You all see that fence back there? I would like to plant a hedge along that fence, but I don't want to water them. So right now, I don't know where I'm going to put them. So this year, I'm probably going to plant them over there to get that full sunlight because maintaining these garden spaces by hand is work these someone gave to me um you remember these moms so this beautiful color is popping in which i should have put them all together but y'all it's time to come up in here cut all these things back these coreopsis had get given me a yellow it oh yeah it budded out already but i had one yellow flower okay from there this is just this garden bed it's just so plain to me y'all what what i was telling you all that what worked look at my 2020 <laughs> i could still see my concrete but i did not know anything about doing a concrete path when i started this look at my little heart y'all this is the ghetto it's my little heart down there but Water still flows, so I can tell you that works. That's temporary. I gotta figure y'all this design out. But I forgot to tell you what did work. I created this was deeper, you all. And I had planned on adding more concrete, but of course it got too expensive. So just know that the soil will find its way and will fill up all the hard work digging that I've done. It's just it's filling it back up. What worked this year versus what did not? This little rye pea going along the edge was a great design tip. I got that from Facebook Marketplace. All of these along my property. So that worked. This is another Facebook Marketplace. So shopping. Oh, my day lily. Let's talk about legend has stepped on it but it came back the other one never broke off so I like that I enjoy seeing that come back nothing else in that garden bed to talk about besides this does work using a gallon it container does work y'all remember my um rose that I put in the ground Look at that, y'all. It's giving me new buds. So it's about to flower. I see it. Oh, so that's a free plant back there. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm getting hit by the tree. I do have plastic running along that gate. That works. Because, again, crepe myrtles reseed themselves a ton. I just came over here and took out like six trees. And crepe myrtles do their roots grow sideways so you will have to dig along the edge to actually get them all out what's working ground cover is working for me this is icy blue juniper I want that to fill up that's going to get like eight feet wide so I want that to fill up all over there let's follow this journey Oh, what else? I had to put this star in the ground because wintertime is coming and it's not going to stay there. But again, I have to water it and keep my eye on it. And then it's starting to turn brown. Y'all can see this from lack of water because I wasn't paying attention to it. So, yeah, sometimes what works is placing things in the ground so you can keep your eyes on it. My hedge is working. I keep this bucket right here. It's real life. I'm about to teach y'all. If y'all never seen a drip a day, this is what I get in one day's time. 
I have to figure out how to stop this drip from this side. It's off, but I still get a drip. I figured that out. So in the meantime, I collect my water. Stick around, y'all. Stay tuned because I got a whole bunch of things that's working. This is working. I place my foxtail fern inside of here. I get more sunlight on this side of the bed. And so I paid attention. This is the benefit of using pots. I paid attention to the shade on this side, the light on this side. Pots allow you to place things in the correct location. Okay, I split up. Those are two variety of coleus. And this one have grown and bloomed. Oh, so I'm ready to bring those, get ready to bring those in. What is working is stepping stones. Placing ground cover in between my stepping stones is working. I did cut off all of my hostas. They are gone. My cat mint did not grow this year. That did not work well, y'all. It looked the same as it looked when it was on clearance. Oh, well. My fountain grass grew. So that means we did this <laughs> container property, properly. But I cannot get these things to bloom. What are the name of these? I bought them from Lowe's on sale. I know the name of these too. Can't remember them right now. But I placed it on the screen. Those did not bloom. Pointless of being in my garden bed. What else? What else is going on in my garden, everyone? I'm getting ready to... Oh, oh, you all. Let me show you. Of course, I now have... Oh, I can sit down. So this is what salvia looks like when you cut it all the way to the ground in which you can. This is step two. It will grow. And that's step three. What it will flourish to. Now I know these colors and everything, y'all, it's a mess to me. It's not coordinated, but this is my reality of my garden and clearance plant shopping. What did work? Maybe not. My grass flopped over, so I cut it all back. New grass grew, but that looks a mess. That is not working. Mums. Mums worked for me. It just worked. What else? All of that still alive. Oh, yeah. Of course, what did not work was not having my roses in full sun. But I got some new growth on this one, so it's getting some sun. And y'all, I think this is about it in my garden. When you transplant some things that bloomed in spring, oh, in summer, in fall, they're going to die back, you all. Slowly but sure, that's the same plant one is dying back the others are not okay yeah here's like new crepe myrtles just popping out more crepe myrtles plenty of them around I finally did put my elephant ears in the ground and they did grow wider not taller I placed my lavender back back there so that's about what did well and what did not do well and here's back up here to my hydrangea which, which looks a mess because it's not full you know some gardeners can afford to go well it don't look a mess to me but some gardeners can go and get all new plants I did place my camellia right here because of watering I wanted to go in the back next year maybe I'll start some drip to go along the back areas but this year it is right here plenty of space to do what it's going to do for the year that's my garden 
So if you stuck around to the end, I thank you. I hope this helps what worked and what did not work. Also, I talked about some more things, which in my next upcoming videos, I will go into further details in my what worked and what did not work series. See you again soon. Subscribe, like this video, or comment. Dislike too if it wasn't that good. Oh well, <laughs> I'm getting better and by better and I'm loving this journey. Bye-bye. Tobish tree service. Wonderful. Oh my god, you all, one tree down. Oh, it looks so much better. Oh, I was hoping they would do this one today, but I'll wait for tomorrow. That'll work. I sure appreciate a company that cleans up when they're done. Thank you so much. The clean up everything looks so amazing. Y'all see this for this session? Oh, no. oh. Look at the sunlight.